Alrighty, oh, nice. boys and girls, with that, we have now reached 51 range. I've been a good boy. I know it's hard to believe. I've been doing some range slayer as much as I've been dreading finally doing the range grind. I, it's long overdue. Uh, so I've been grinding these levels. I just, as you saw, I got 51. Uh, only got like a slayer level or two. I don't think I've got that many. Here are the stats. Uh, a couple of things have changed, I think, since the last episode. Mainly... I did get 51 prayer, uh, if you watched last episode of The Grind, you would have seen me getting 51 prayer, but that's neither here nor there. I got 51 prayer, I got a magic level killing blue dragons to get said dragon bones. Um, I think you guys saw me get 70 farming a long time ago, I don't think much- Oh, I got a couple herbler levels, or maybe just one. I've been making some energy potions since I can buy chocolate bars from the Lumbridge Castle Cellar bank that's a freaking mouthful bro i don't think uh besides i was 46 range and now we are 51 this is honestly going really fast uh combining it with slayer because like barbarian fishing it's very addicting to see okay slayer takes a while to level up but like i'll get a range level then i'll get a slayer level then i'll get a range level then i'll get a hit points level then I'll go back to... It's just a nice little flow. I've just been doing Slayer all day. It's been a wild weekend, boys and girls. I'm in some... Uh, I got some steel boots... Oh, hold on. Here's the... I got some steel boots. That's like the these Pyre Fiends best drop. Um, I got a dope mime outfit because the old man came and paid me a visit and touched me inappropriately. That's neither here nor there. Boys and girls, we're going to do some questing. Get some stuff done. Just all around make progress. I wasn't even planning on doing a hardcore episode right now. I need to record so many other things besides RuneScape. But I freaking just want to play RuneScape. And you're not going to tell me otherwise, Mom. So why don't you go suck a fat... Pull the lever, crunk. And with that beautiful uh, show of beautiful flashing lights, I don't know where I'm going with that. Marvelous! It works! The town will not be safe! Thanks, Gandalf. I've given you a special scroll to... It's a new spell. Read the scroll and you'll be able to teleport yourself here. Boys and girls, there is the Watchtower quest completed. I... <laughs> I dislike that quest mainly because, okay, one, it's a classic, I get it, it's one of their first quests, but it's just so boring, and it's long, it's just running back and forth through ogres, nonsense, I'm yelling, I'm very excited, because that was four quest points, it's not even that hard of a quest, we now can teleport to the watchtower, essentially a Yanil teleport, 50. 15,000 magic XP. Now, that's the main reason I did this quest, and I will tell you why. Boys and girls, I, as you saw, am 64 magic. I need 66 to be able to complete um, Song of the Elves. Now, uh, that was 15,000 magic XP. I'm going to do another quest here in a second. Well, not in a second. It'll probably be next episode because it's a long one too. But I'm going to plan on doing Desert Treasure very soon because that quest also gives like 20,000 magic XP. And that will be a huge boost. That'll get me to 65 easy if I'm not already there before I do that quest. And I have to do Desert Treasure before I can even finish Rescue for Disaster. Anyway, that was a tongue twister, bro. Did you see how slick that was? <laughs> and now, what am I going to do next? I don't freaking know. I still need to get 70 cooking. I, I've been slacking on that. I guess I'll just do the mess hall in Corrind. I really don't know what else. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and read that teleport scroll. Oh, we're geniuses. We can now teleport to freaking Watchtower. Provide you have the required runes and magic level. Can I do that? Oh, only 58? Pff, easy. Freaking easy. Alright, I'm gonna go put up all this useless crap and, uh... <laughs> I wonder if I can do the diary. Can I do the achievement diary yet? I almost have the medium done. I think the main thing, uh, keeping me from finishing... Cause that's, I just literally got to teleport there. Yeah, right here, okay. So for Ironman, this sucks because making a <laughs> mithril grapple, you have to have like a super high fletching and smithing level, I think. Uh, so that's the thing holding me back from completing the medium diaries. I think that's all really. Yeah, besides teleporting into the pin, which literally I just have to go do like take me two seconds. I actually have a lot of the hard done too. There are probably some diaries I can finish. I have a ton of questing I need to get done, so I'll probably knock out something easy. Uh, I mean, we have 189 quest points. That's nothing to... What is there in the game right now? Like 260 or 258? It's somewhere around there. So I mean... Honestly, I, and, and a couple quests are huge. Like, I'm pretty sure Monkey Madness 2 and Dragon Slayer 2 both equate up to like 10 quest points. Anyway, neither here nor there. I will see you guys in just a few seconds when I figure out what the heck I'm gonna freaking do next, bro. Don't you go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I will find you, bro. I will freaking find. 
So I was cleaning some of the uh, garbage out of my bank, and I had, uh, I, I noticed this because I'm an idiot, I have a set of the Initiate and Proselyte armor, so I wikied it real fast just to see if I needed to keep the Initiate for any specific reason, and apparently it's required to pray at this altar with Initiate. I don't know if Proselyte would work, but in the, I just wanted to get rid of it, so I figured I would just, you know, why not? So this should be a task, and okay, <laughs> great. I don't know, proselyte might work there. I, I really don't know, but uh, it said initiate on the on the wiki, so I grabbed the initiate, and now I'm going to drop this. Actually, should I high alk it? Is it worth? Ooh, yeah, it's worth high alk. Okay, I'll high alk it, and then, well, it'll just be gone in my freaking life then. But there's a medium task in the Falador area. Cool. <laughs> I don't even think I've completed the easy diary yet, but uh, there's the freaking mediums. Hell yeah, I'm just getting all kinds of stuff done. Shut up, mom! Oh, and while we're uh, knocking out diary tasks, I guess while I'm getting ready to head to this next thing, I will go ahead and just do this just to get it out of the way because it's so annoying just to see it unmarked because it literally takes two seconds. Booyah! Medium task, and uh, that's all, uh, you know, everything. all of the mediums except for the stupid mithril grapple one. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, like, I, can I check... Hold on, maybe it's in other? No. Maybe it's in rune? No. Where? Oh, it's mithril. Just kidding, it's mithril. Uh, where is it at, though? Mithril crossbow limbs. So you need 56 smithing. That's not terrible. I'm only two levels away from that. But I think you need some crazy fletching level that I don't... Runite slash U crossbow? Mithril... Maybe it's 54. Maybe it's not as bad as I think. I don't know. Maybe we're close. Maybe we're not. <laughs> what do I know about this game? Absolutely nothing. Die, Unicron! So I'm doing Corsair Curse, I think is the name of the quest. Yeah, the Corsair Curse. It's the last free quest I had left to do. So it's a nice, uh, you know, finishing up that section of my life. Not, and this quest is really easy. It takes like five minutes. You run around this freaking island. But I hate it with every fiber of my being i cannot stand this quest the first time i did it it drove me insane because the whole plot it's setting you up for dragon slayer 2 but literally the whole plot is that there's a curse on this island right a terrifying mystery you're basically playing a detective or you know, like clue you're trying to figure out who did it how did the who got the crew cursed the, the clue cursed clan <laughs> uh, watch it bro uh, and then you find out that it's just this guy made them sick by making some bunk food. Jagex! He poisoned them! That's not fun, that's not- I want to curse, dude, I want to fight a freaking ghost! Idiot. Take that, dumb idiot! Oh, apparently he's fine. And he knows magic! I guess that proves he's well enough to get up, and apparently he knows some magic, too. Guess we have no other choice but to just murder him. I'm not even making that up. I'm reading the quest guide ahead because I'm a scrub. I'm a scribbity scrub. <laughs> and it literally says, return to Captain Talk and tell him Ithoi is behind the curse. Outraged, he will ask you to kill him. <laughs> Why, though? <laughs> it's just needless murder, but screw it, dude. I'm freaking down. Okay, so just beware for any uh, returning hardcore Iron Man. Oh, and he's just going to start murdering me. Okay, fine. I was going to give you a spiel, but uh, screw it, dude. This area is uh, apparently instanced, so if you do die, you will lose all of your hard-earned valuables. So make sure you're well prepared for this fight with uh, Ithoi the Navigator. Level 35, who I just uh, hit a zero on, by the way. But there's an 11. Okay. You really need to see the end of this fight? I mean, did you really think I was going to die? We just murdered an innocent man, basically. <laughs> All he did was give people food poisoning. I don't think he deserved to freaking die, but... Chagex is a bunch of ruthless, cold-hearted killers, apparently, dude. Frick it. Sometimes I see, like, an NPC in this game, or somebody will... They'll say, madam, or young lass, or, hey, girl! And I get real offended. I'm like, what? what are you why are you talking down to me? Why are you catcalling me? And then, <laughs> then I forget that I'm actually, uh, I'm actually a female. Which I don't know if that makes it worse or better. You know, but anyway, uh, I digress. Now we have a uh, completed Corsair Curse. Cur I want to say Corsair Cove, but that's the name of the, the location. Access to Corsair Cove, two quest points. Uh, very easy. That's finishing up. That finished up the last of the free quests and put us over 191 quest points. We only need nine more. 
and we can do Dragon Slayer 2. But we also need a million other things. That's just just for uh, S's and gigs, for shizzies and gig, gig gigamites. Let's see what we need to finish Dragon Slayer 2 or to start it. Uh, Dream Mentor, okay. Tale of Two Cats, Client of Corrin, 200 quest points, uh, 75 magic, 70 smithing, 68 mining. 62 crafting. I've got four of the requirements though, so <laughs> you know Any day now, uh, but also the fight never I'll never do it ever cuz uh, it's hard. It's hard anyway uh, Boys and girls, I'm probably gonna go do one other quick thing. Maybe finish up some diaries or something I don't know. Maybe start another quest. There's a, I had a ton of quests thing like every time I get like I knock I've been doing a bunch of long quests lately So that's also part of the problem, but every time I knock out a quest It feels like there's like 5,000 more I need to do uh, There's also a bunch of mini quests I need to do plenty to do boys and girls plenty to do I would like to finish up all of the easy diaries soon as well uh, except for, you know, the wilderness for obvious reasons. So, uh, I'm gonna go do something. Uh, I don't know what just yet. Something nice and easy. I'm in the mood to play some RuneScape. We're gaming, boys! We're hardcore gaming? And we're also hardcore f all right, boys and girls, so here we are doing one last quest before we wrap this episode up. I figured I'd go ahead and do, uh, I was gonna start Desert Treasure, but I have to do Troll Stronghold before I can start Desert Treasure, of course. And I want to make some good progress into Desert Treasure before I, you know, start the next episode or anything, because that's a freaking long quest. So I figured I'd go ahead and knock this one out while we're here. Right now I'm, uh, killing my dad, which, uh, is the, I, I hate saying that even out loud. I love my dad. Thank you very much. RuneScape. But, nonetheless, we're here, we're fighting him, you can safe spot him, which I'm, uh, you know, obviously trying right now. It's not working out very well, he's very resilient to my ranged attacks. My crossbow is not piercing his trollish skin, so I might uh, bust out my dragon skin here in a second and swipe him real hard. He's just scary to fight because he can hit, like, he, like, blows you back. Uh, don't make it weird with his big tree. I'm gonna have to go freaking melee listener because good grief, I'm not doing anything. I've done ten- He's healing! All right, that went way better with melee. Mm, stop, you win, not hurt dad. Oh, dude, I would love to just murder him, but if you'd spare him, uh, you don't have to worry about dealing with all the trolls watching around here. So it's best to spare him, even though I don't freaking want to. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I won't murder you yet, dad, just because you're freaking named dad. If you weren't, dude, if your name's Bomb, I'd kill you on the freaking spot, idiot. Okay, there is the troll stronghold quest completed. That actually went by a lot faster than I was planning on it. Uh, so this episode is going to uh, wrap up a little bit faster than I thought because that quest actually flew by. Uh, I murdered that dude, the dad, f the father troll, and then you kill a general. And you just freaking protect from melee. Easy quest, baby. So we get a quest point and the ability to make law runes and the law talisman. Uh, that'd be cool if I cared about rune crafting. I guess, but uh, there's that done, 192 quest points, now I can actually start Desert Treasure, um, I'll probably put in the fights for that quest, because you know those are big deals, and they're all pretty difficult, so I will uh, probably tune you guys in for every single one of those, here's just a quick wrap up of the stats, um, like I said, not much has changed, obviously, just a couple range levels, I'm gonna go back to slaying here in a little bit, I gotta record some other games, or other things, I've only played RuneScape for like the past week and a half because I've just freaking addicted again. It's a great feeling. Oh, I think I got a hit points level actually. Am I talking too fast? Sorry, I'm on a lot of cocaine. Okay, and I lied with this. We should have... Yeah, we have completed all the easy tasks in the Fremenic area with the... When I completed Troll Stronghold, that allowed me to get the last task uh, finished, which was to into the stronghold so we have wrapped up another easy diary i'm gonna go collect our dang thing now chuck that bad boy into herb lore of course and then that just leaves um the desert easy diaries which i need to complete iklithrin's little helper first well i don't have to complete it but i have to at least start it but if i'm gonna start it you know i might as well finish it you know you know, and then, uh, Corrin, there's a billion quests I need to do in Corrin before I can finish the easy diaries there. Mauritania, I just need to plant that scarecrow. Okay, you know how I grinded forever to get those dang watermelons? I had to sit there and watch billions upon billions of watermelon crops, uh, perish. But you also need a bronze spear, which, uh, basically is a random drop. Or, uh, 
once you complete Taibao Wanai Trio, I think that's how you say that stupid quest name, <laughs> which is an annoying quest in and of itself, you can buy them. So once I complete that quest, I'll be able to finish that diary. Anyway, here is Thoradin. I've completed all the easy tasks in the Friminic area. Give me all the stuff. Uh, these boots are a symbol of your exploration of the Fremenic lands. Pier the Seer is now an active bank, which is, I mean, pretty cool. My Enchanted Liar, which I uh, no longer have. I need to get that thing recharged. Thanks, dude. And, and the boots, uh, awesome. But, uh, no, 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 I actually don't care is the thing. I don't care. So there is, the, man, I forget how easy the Fremenic diaries are. Like, that took me literally five seconds. Uh, let's chuck this right into the old Herbology. Booyah, booyah, twenty. Five hundred XP. Boys and girls, I will see you in the next episode of Hardcore Iron Man Old School RuneScape. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We got a ton done. I'm going to do some more. Well, that's a lie. I'm going to pause playing for a little bit. It's 1230 uh, at midnight. I need to do some other things, so I'm gonna. But I will see you guys so very soon. Thank you guys for watching so much. Give me a follow. Give me a like. Check out anything else. I do all kinds of stuff. I love you guys so much. And I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. I'm going to do something else now. <laughs> I love you guys so much. See you guys next time. Bye.